Hello, my name is Matthew Piastro, and today I'm going to be discussing urban environments for my urban curriculum field trip for summer 2020. I began by first reviewing today's waste is tomorrow's energy present. I learned that the Lee County Solid Waste Enterprise collects all trash in just Lee and Hendry counties. To support sustainable options, the Lee County Solid Waste Management System addresses its citizens' desires for recycling resource recovery, and the promotion of waste reduction. The Lee County Waste Energy Facility generates up to 59 megawatts of clean, renewable energy. Lee County also has several other facilities dedicated to enhancing efforts in reducing and minimizing landfill disposal. Lee County is a leader in sustainability in North America. Lee County has been partnered with Covanta a world leader in providing sustainable waste and energy solutions to municipalities, businesses, and industries. At Covanta, waste is burned at extremely high temperatures in a self-sustaining process. The ash from the trash takes 90% less space in landfills. I believe Lee County is truly a model of what the future of energy to waste will look like in the United States. This Prezi taught me what is going on in Lee County in terms of sustainability. I was unaware that we were one of the leaders in America. After reviewing the proposal to improve our local transit by Tom Canal, I believe he has a great plan of implementing more than one terminal or bus station. It would allow people to have better opportunities to get more places without having to wait 60 minutes because all the buses are at the same terminal. The next thing I did was review the Prezi on the MRF process. The facility in Lee County has had a partnership with the Reed Community, a recycling company, since 1994. All MRF employees are Reed Community employees. The five materials that are recycled are paper, metal, cardboard, plastic, and glass. Paper can re be recycled five to seven times. In just six weeks, beverage cans can be back on the shelf that they were originally on. When it comes to plastic, clear or colorful, they're all recyclable. Clean containers labeled numbers one through seven are also welcome. When recycling glass, clear green and brown glass are all good to go, lids included. When the recycling truck arrives at the facility, the first quality control station is called the pre-sort room, where sorters remove any non-recyclable items. All glass, cardboard, and plastics are separated from each other. The post-sort room is where sorters remove all cardboard and trash from the pile. Once everything has been sorted, the recyclable materials are put in a truck to transport to market. Of all the materials collected by recycling trucks, 15% of them are contaminants, equaling 50 tons every day. Lastly, I reviewed several YouTube videos and my favorite infrastructure topic was how do we get our drinking water? And where does it come from? Our drinking water comes from groundwater, also known as aquifers, and other places such as surface water from lakes, rivers, and streams. As our lands develop more and more runoff water deposits into rivers and streams, bringing in pollutants, we all contribute to the contamination of our water. I learned several ways that we can prevent contamination from happening. One way would be to manage runoff that comes off roofs by naturalizing our yards and putting more plants in. Also, we can implement storm water regulations Protecting water resources sustains local wildlife, attracts businesses, promotes tourism, and ensures a more affordable quality of life. What I learned the most of my field trip was Lee County doesn't just dump their trash into landfills. They actually convert as much trash as possible into energy, and they are one of the world leaders in sustainability. I also learned that what I also learned I also learned what takes, what recycling facilities take, 
and I will think twice before I just throw anything in the recycling bin.